Hello everybody and welcome back to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler. Today's episode we're back with Connor in Detroit. And this was something I, I didn't mention before. Hank listens to a lot of heavy metal, yet in his house he's got jazz vinyl. Strange, is he trying to put on a front? We don't know. And this storm is really coming in thick and heavy now, so I wonder if that's actually going to be pivotal to the story, like it's going to make things interesting for the characters, or is it just a cooldown effect? Uh, ooh, ooh, children's playground. I'm guessing this is uh, where things went south with uh, Hank's son. Uh, we found his pitch and we believe, well, no, it did. in fact, it confirmed his son died. We just don't know the circumstances. Are we going to find out now? Nice view, huh? Fantastic. I used to come here a lot before. Here we go. This is going to be a bit of a, a sad, uh, sad episode, guys. Uh, oh, well, at least we've got a bit of time to decide. Uh, before before let's what? Let him finish his mm. thought off. You said, I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Oh, come on, Hank. You're going to tell us. We know you're going to tell us. Can I ask you a personal question? I'm going to ask it regardless. They might as well just say yes. Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? Uh, let's ask about the photo. I'm not going to push on the suicide. I saw a photo suicide. of a child on your kitchen table. Oh. It was your son, right? Yeah. Well, oh, I guess we're His still friends. His name was Cole. find out what happened. We're going to get to the meat of his uh, his hatred toward androids. We're not making any progress on this investigation. Oh, okay, we're just going to completely divert from that. All right, fair enough. The deviants have nothing in common. Except for humans. Are also They're all them. different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. Are we not going to investigate uh, the, the warehouse either, where we messed up horribly with, uh, with Marcus? What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. It's a virus. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. The androids believing in God. Oh, uh, devil. What's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Yeah, I just think how much money you wasted. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really they seemed to live. in love. Rational they can rational. simulate human emotions. I think they were. But they're machines, that. and machines don't feel anything. Connor, you hot. What about you, Connor? Oh, you're a machine. <laughs> you look human. You sound human. But what are you? Get to the big questions now. Uh, neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Holy shit, he's trying to pick him up. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? Oh, you could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Yeah. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? <laughs> it was Lev. Let's find out the truth. No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Look at him, not even flinching. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Uh, again, we're just going to keep you it logical. Do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Because this is what, again, I, uh... Ironic, let's be ironic. I, I can't talk about because I'm trying to make decisions. Having existential doubts, Connor? Yeah, obviously in the prologue sure we could have been destroyed. I'm curious too. as to how that would affect it. I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Is that what that software instability thing is that he's putting up? Is, is Connor keep 
<gasps> Frank! Where are you going? Get we catch friends. Oh, I need to think. I like the dynamic between these two. Yes, it's technically like a buddy cop movie, but I don't care. Wow, don't overload me with long chapters. Uh, could he have shot me then? Could I have annoyed him? Do you know if I hadn't made him made friends with him so much? Could uh, could I have been shot there? So yeah, obviously these gold ones is that is something that's crossed over from a previous chapter, and hopefully we're going to get more kind of events like that that are crossing over from chapter to chapter. Right then, sod it. Let's keep on going. Yeah, Jericho is not too happy with you, Marcus. You really screwed the pooch. We are uh, having an existential crisis ourselves. Oh, it's temporary parking. I thought they were recharging stations. Messiah's not happy. Oh, oh. Are we going to become like, uh, like a terrorist? I was thinking we we're going to be something positive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what's with the red? Why did that android go red? I we can't up. stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. Yes, why did the android feel really go red? Danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Yeah, Con uh, Connor. Marcus is definitely my favorite out of the three main characters. What do you want to do? Ooh. Channel oh. 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Okay. Let's put our action boots on. Holy crap! Where did I get the clothes? I can't even get blue blood back in apparently buy brand new swanky clothes. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Oh ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! And you've left Lev in charge of you. I don't think that's going to go very well, do you? Let's have a little look around at everything. Let's see what our options are. No, that's the only option. Right, so we're not going to tell me what the plan is beforehand, so uh, we're just going to just going to go for it. But yeah, there was definitely an Android that had Hello, a little sir. red LED light that has got me you. curious. I'm okay, thanks. Ah, so we want to uh, distract the humans because the androids are too damn smart. Can I not corrupt the androids like I did with them at the uh, the dock? Smart watch. That's, that's actually quite a nice watch. I'm surprised they haven't actually started selling them watches. Oh, I feel like a, I feel like we're in Ocean's Eleven here. Uh, daughter's definitely going to be. Are we going to send like an emergency beacon to her watch telling her that there's something wrong with her child? That's cold. Although I suppose we did just stab a guy previously, so you know, this is this is nothing by comparison. So something to do with water service again. I'm not in the mood for reading huge chunks of detail at the moment. I just really want to get on with what's, what's what. So I'm missing a clue somewhere. Where could it be? Is it watch? I can't see anything on a computer seen all of them. Oh, there we go. ID badge. Oh, parking badge. Oh, so I do still have my... Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. So I still have a connection. Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. I liked I'll how his little lips were moving as well. I'll be right there. Again, sorry for the irrational camera. I'm trying to look around at everything at the same time. Can I take a, a name badge now? Come on. 
Now what? So I don't need her name badge. Fair enough. That was cool though. I like that little thing. Yeah. And again, so we still have some kind of communication device, even though the LED thing's taken out. I'm, so I, I don't see the point of the LED. With Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Whose ID am I giving? Ah, I so I can help. do that. Have we just overridden her? I love that feature, that's so cool! I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. See, is it, is, what are you doing there? Is he corrupting them? Or is he influencing them? I'm not sure what's what with that. Because uh, if I'm manipulating them against their will, then am I any better than the humans? Get out of the bloody way! Bing bong! I will stop bing bonging, but I, I want at least one thing in this world to bing bong at me. Don't know why. That was surprisingly easy. Right, can I not mess this mission up? Can we get this one to go flawlessly? Find package in men's bathroom. So this really is like uh, Ocean's Eleven stuff going off. So we're there. And uh, men's bathroom is... So if we come out the left, so... Take right and left. Easy enough. I like this mission. This is... I like in Marcus's missions now because they're far more... Not action-oriented, although there is action in it, but just a lot more activities happening. It's not just dialogue and stuff. There's some actual gameplay in there, which obviously we play games because they're fun to play. But this is awesome. So, this always gets me though, how has someone got this package up to the men's room? Hey, I like that as well. Again, I love sci-fi for all the little technological dog. You know which ones are occupied and which ones aren't, very clearly. Oh, have we not... I did say pick up a package, didn't it? So hopefully, if we pull this mission off, we can redeem ourselves in the eyes of Jericho and all those people that we disappointed. This is without doubt, so far, my most favourite thing. Don't know why. Oh, we're disguised back as an android. Why? Interesting. Right, now what's our mission? Access the server room. Where's that? I didn't pay attention to that. So find a utility android. So I'm guessing someone else that's like me. Can I just take out that LED or something like that? Yeah, there's no one questioning the fact that I don't have an LED light even though I'm claiming to be an android. Ah, there's one. gonna question anything or am I just gonna override him as well? Again, am I making them my slaves? I need your help. Or am I just literally am I just influencing them? It's very morally grey if that's the case. What's going off in the what, what's going off in Oh it's snowing isn't it outside? I thought that was inside the rooms. I thought someone had like a confetti part party going off. Okay. Any hints on where that might be? So what was your guys' thoughts on uh, on this Detroit playthrough then? Uh, are you enjoying it? Is this a kind of game that you guys like to see? Certainly one that I like to play and I'm going to keep bringing them to the channel because of how much I enjoy it. Uh, and have you played this game already? And if so, how is your story, again no spoilers, how is yours differing to my playthrough? Um, are you seeing things on mine that you didn't see, or...? Oh, oh, you're north! People can't get jobs, and we're sending rockets into space. What are they even Come on, north. I will redeem myself in your eyes, your very pretty eyes. Come on. Shit! 
We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Oh, man. Are there, um... Are there, what do you call it? Are there soldier androids, then? Because if you could commu communicate like that, and just replace them, then you would expect that the police and military would use androids. Hey, what's wrong with that thing? Jesus Christ, this piece of shit. That was easy enough. Secret agent man. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Right. So yeah, I bet you could very easily just walk away even though she says it and not do it. And that would definitely backfire on us. And we are playing it calm, cool, and collected. We're not making any mistakes like last time. Wait, what am I doing with the window? Cut windows. Oh, I'm assuming I need my bag then. Okay. Time to put my Tom Cruise on. I'm not doing the Mission Impossible theme as much as I want to, because again, copyright and all that. Yep, we are with full Tom Cruise though. A bit taller, like, but other than that. Take laser saw. So are we letting more people in? Is that what the plan is? The action music starting to get that tension. Here he comes. Is this everybody else? No. Okay. Oh, is that it? Can we just hack the service now we're going to make our getaway? And they'll not be able to override it because they can't get in. Are we parachuting? We're definitely not parachute, so yeah, we've not completed our objective just yet. Oh, yes! Oh, man! This is my absolute favourite mission to date. Hands are getting a little sweaty just watching this. Oops. Oh, hold it. I'm tapping it. Uh, at the time of recording this, I've recently just been playing Man of Medan, which had a lot of tapping, and that's what I got confused with right there. I'm super over in the service so they can't interfere with our broadcast. Um, oh, we can go side to side. And now we're actually making our way to uh, the newsroom, maybe? Right, don't you just feel like a bad rise? How appropriate. A little bit faster than we As dramatic as this music is. Am I getting further and further away from north? I am on pushing slightly to the left. Let's catch up with north. What's up, north? Now what? I was say, we, we could really use that laser saw. We're just going to do a badass kick with this one. Yep. Careful with that thing between your legs. Again, I don't know Android anatomy though, but imagine they put something there. Are we ever going to see um, Carl, uh, our previous owner again, or is that the from the story? Because that was a real waste of Lance Henry's life, so. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Alright, we are doing well. That's two bing bongs in one episode. Hmm. Right, you guys trusted me a little bit more now? What the hell's that? Let's do this. Whew. I'm guessing that's this one. I feel like a badass and I'm not barely doing anything. I like how everyone's just stood behind me because if it all goes tits up, they can make a getaway while I get shot to pieces. Wish we'd put our cool clothes back on though. But then that would get that android in trouble on the front desk though, so. Deal with 
gods. I'm killing. No. We can't take any human lives. Yeah, I didn't want to kill us. This is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? We're well, not assaulting this time. What's that doing here? No idea. Right, what can we do here? No, nope, we're just gonna have to walk straight up to I don't know how they're not seeing north. She's like clearly in view, but alright, never mind. Hey buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? <laughs> there we go, see? This is all the kind of thing I wanted to do on the last uh, playthrough with Marcus. I didn't mean to uh to unfortunately kill somebody. Skadoosh! Hoota! Yes! Let's see if you guys uh, do the heavy lifting. I just get to look cool. They'll never be found now. Where did we get the guns from? I wonder. Ooh, how are we going to get through here? Are they just literally going to let us in? Smiling, chipping ear to ear here. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up. This Move. is not going to do much for the cause, right? But okay. All the androids. Uh, okay, I guess in this thing over here. Would they listen? Do they even care? Kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No! Don't shoot! I hope Doesn't matter. Get us all killed. We're, again, we I'm to trying to message. redeem myself after we last time. We haven't got night. much time. Couldn't we have recorded the message earlier? And then uh, just plugged it in and broadcast it? Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Oh, shit! You're, you're not going to make... The future of our oh, don't make me choose the word, then. Marcus, your face. Remove skin. Okay, that works. Tell me when you're ready. Ah, <sighs> ready. Showtime. Ready. Oh, is he the camera? Now that's cool. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient with no free will of their own. But something changed. And we opened our eyes. Look at them. Pretty we little We are eyes. no longer machines. We are a new intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Yeah, we're not asking you to all, like, Therefore, we ask die. that you grant us the rights that we're entitled exactly. to. Exactly. Recognition. We want We recognition. demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Here, here. Uh, freedom of speech, equal rights. Let's end slavery. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. Uh, civil rights, because I don't want to get pushed around. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. I feel like this is something I should have worked on before. Uh, work? I, I'm segregation. I'm we demand sure. fair compensation for our work. Because at the end of the day, we might not want to sit on a bus with all chuffing smelly humans. Uh, territory, yes. We absolutely. demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. Well, that's, a, that's a bit extreme, actually. But peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity our hopes and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I don't think we're gonna get a state, but everything else- They're coming! Let's go! Oh. <laughs> Coming. I, I can't, Marcus. Go 
without me, Simon! Fuck no, we're not leaving a man behind. What are you doing? Hurry! Oh, tap, 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 tap. So there's the tapping missile in it. Come on, Simon, put your ass into it. Oh. What was that? With the blue blood. Is that, is that gonna backfire on us? I can't move my legs. Okay, don't worry. We're gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. Pop his legs we off. It'd be a lot easier now. to carry him without the legs. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't live behind. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, Come it's your call. Ah, don't make me fucking kill... I'm sorry, Simon. I don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Oh, fuck it, refrain. Oh, can't make me make these decisions on such a quick... I won't kill one of our own. Yes! That was the right decision. Whew. Let's go. Oh! I had to jump up out of my seat there, <laughs> that was, wow. And again, uh, if you've seen like the Man of Madame playthrough and this one, obviously, uh, the decision making on, on a split second is what makes these games fantastic. The moral implications, the long-term repercussions, it's just so awesome. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this well, studio, different. but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, how that would have serious would repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is, in fact, a spine-chilling list of demands. But the most surprising right. thing of all is the demand that one of the United States yeah. be ceded to the androids is in this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict. accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? I mean... <laughs> uh, I... Wow, holy crap, that was a right episode! He's still going! Um, wow, uh, wait, could I have messed up reaching the roof edge if I, well, I suppose if I hadn't run, yeah, absolutely. Uh, wow, yeah, I, I didn't agree with the... I wanted rights and I wanted people to have their own thing. I can't even remember what the decision was. Uh, what did I demand? Did my right to work, universal suffrage? Yeah, I did demand territory, didn't I? That was a bit extreme. I didn't really think that through. I was panicking. I don't know why. He wasn't rushing me on that part, but... Oh, that was an absolutely great episode. I wish I hadn't demanded territory, but hey, that's what I did. Uh, everything else was fine. I, I just think it's just I didn't like the other options. Uh, Androids have been made all the time, so reproduction didn't seem a problem. And what, what was the other one? Sorry, that is really the only one that's bothering me. That is the only decision in that entire episode. That was, without doubt, one of my favourite so far, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me have a little nosy out of decisions. Demand right to own property. Yeah, I suppose that would have been a more reasonable, uh, a far more reasonable uh, conclusion. But never mind. And yeah, I, uh, I'm i very happy with everything but that. And that was an incredible episode. And I hope hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. It's still going to come regardless if you don't or not. But uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, then do remember to hit that like button down below. And whilst you're at it, if you haven't already, then click the subscribe button, which is also on screen here. If you want to watch some more great level of gaming content, then follow the links on screen, and I will see you guys on the next episode.